What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan for those of you that are new and we're just going to hit another kind of a AMC kind of recap market update and kind of give you guys an update of what we think is going to happen. So before I waste more time on this, I'm just going to jump right into like the proper screening here and everything before I forget to change it as well. And I'm going to put this guy on a one chart here. Hopefully my head isn't blocking him too much. Yeah, we don't really need to see the bottom here. We should be fine. So I'm going to put it on this one chart to make it easier for you guys to look at. And what I want to basically do here is kind of give you guys an update from my previous AMC videos. Uh, it'll be a full update for anyone that's new here. So you don't really have to go back and watch those, but we're going to talk about AMC, what's going on with it lately, where I see it going, if the hype is dying, if it's going to continue going back up and where basically my update on this. So in my previous videos, we were watching it at the 40 level, just to give you a recap here. We were watching it at the 40 level. I figured it was going to pin 40, then drop it like it's hot. I was expecting it to drop it like it's hot to the 3250, but it gave us 3350. I was looking to get in on a dip to add into my position. That's basically what I was going for here, and I missed it. So an update on those videos, I have not added in yet. I am still in it, and that reminds me to do my, uh, what is it? The general disclaimer, it's not investment advice, not just life advice, just me talking and waving my hands around. So take it with a grain of salt. Um, but that was just a little update from the previous video there is what we were talking about in terms of the 40 and dropping it like it's hot. So now let's kind of catch up and see where do I think it's going to go from there. So I'm going to start again. I, I usually feel like the most of my watchers and viewers and my audience is from a shorter term standpoint, but I also do things on a longer term standpoint as well. And this particular trade is actually supposed to be as a longer term trade, in my opinion. So I'm going to kind of start from the shorter term standpoint and kind of branch out to the longer term standpoint just to kind of give you guys a roadmap of what I think is happening here and then we're going to talk about some of the order flow that's kind of giving me some ideas of where I think this might be going and then we'll kind of wrap it up from there so jumping into this directly here the first thing that I want you guys to kind of look at is we'll start it from a small small but in five days 15 minutes here so basically this is what happened is we were watching it wanted it to drop down that's pretty much what we had predicted in the previous videos is that we were going to get a dip from this 40 area and randomly in the middle of the day there, he just decided to completely shoot up. Now, we don't know why this happened. Obviously, there's a various different, you know, scenarios that could have gone into this. It could have been, you know, market makers hedging their positions. It could have been somebody getting out of a short position. It could have been somebody just flying into the trade. Um, but we don't really need to put too much of a focus on why it happened. But rather, let's put a focus on how it happened or, or how it did what it did while it happened. So the key thing to notice here is it literally shot to the 40, gave a little bit of a squeeze right there, if you will. And he, just, he didn't hold above it. He just completely rejected it and kind of stayed there moving forward. So what this tells me is from a shorter term perspective of technical analysis here, I see that we're still in the theory of, hey, as long as we're below the 40, we're still going to continue downward towards the 3250. Now, I personally, in the previous update video, I lowered that expectation from 3250. I basically said, all right, I'm going to give it a little bit more wiggle room because of the fact that the market itself is kind of dying right now. The market's not doing too great. So because of that, I'm expecting a little bit more selling pressure or downside pressure here on this AMC, which is why I decided to move my little target level down from the 3250 area to add in to basically trying to see if we get to the 30 before I add in. And that's not to say that we, you know, we could still reverse from here. We could go down to the 3250 area and reverse. I'm going to assess it at that 3250 area. But as of right now, I think we're just basically consolidating here. We're probably going to chop around these areas. I expect probably maybe within throughout this week, if not tomorrow or the next few days, we're probably going to retest at least the 35. And then, you know, from there, we'll see how it goes. Maybe he'll consolidate. If not, hopefully he gives us our dip to the 3250 area so we can reanalyze and see, okay, are we in it to win it basically? Because if you look at it from a longer term perspective now, you can see that we're still in an upward trend here. Why is this guy not clicking here? Am I not on the right drawing tools? I am. Maybe I wasn't. What's going on, brother? All right. Well, my luck, he doesn't want to click here. But long story short, we have an upward trend going on here. You don't need a line to kind of see that. But basically what we're doing here is, oh, now the line wants to click. Well, how nice of you. There we go. So you can see it from a long, long, long term perspective. We're good. Honestly, like realistically, as long as we're holding above this 20, we should be fine. And if you do remember from that last video, I mentioned from way back here, 
I was wanting it to dip down to the 25 area for me to get into it initially. It didn't give me that dip, so that's why I started in on a half size position at the 32 area, and I was gonna see, okay, if we dip back down again, I'll add into full size, but I wanted to be in it just in case we did not dip down, and we didn't. So we continued higher, we went up, we hit the 50, almost 55 again, and then obviously we assess the situation, take the proper action. I looked at it and I said, okay, now I might be able to see another opportunity to add in. So my point being is as long as we're realistically above the 25, we're still looking good for the long-term perspective here. You also have to ask yourself, why are you in this? Why are you, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Like what's your intention and your interest in this? Are you in it from a short-term trader perspective? Maybe you're just a, uh, a momentum trader. You just want to catch a few trades here and there. You don't really care what's going on. You also have to ask yourself, are you in it from the perspective of long-term? Are you an investor? Or are you also in it from, I like to call it like the civil war with like the banks, you know what I mean? The, with Wall Street, if you will, are you in it from the movement standpoint? If you're in it from a movement standpoint, obviously I'm not trying to tell you guys to buy this, buy that, or saying you're good or you're not. I'm just giving you my opinion. But if you're in it from a movement standpoint, meaning like you want to be part of the movement of like the group of the apes as they call them, you know, they're going against Wall Street, which is great. I'm all for that idea. Don't get me wrong. If you're in it from that perspective, you're still perfectly fine. You're still perfectly fine in terms of the trend. And honestly, I can't even say that we're in a large downtrend because this is just healthy. You know what I'm saying? It's just general consolidation. I know I'm, I'm drawing a bunch of lines here now. Um, you kind of disregard them in terms of like all the clutter because I'm going to break it down for you guys. But either way, it's just like a normal flag or a pennant, if you will, that's forming up here. We're still good. It's just stocks can't go up every single day, all day, all the time. So they need to take some time to cool off just like they did right here. You get what I'm saying? So we're probably going to see similar action here. I personally don't see us going back up above the 40 area this week. Again, I could be wrong. I'm not trying to tell you guys to go short it or get puts or moots or any of that. I'm just giving you guys my perspective from the charting standpoint. I mean, it literally like, like the chef's kiss. He kissed my blue line that I always tell you guys about that if the stock is below my blue line, I don't want to get it to the upside. I'd rather wait for it to get above the blue line. And on the other perspective is that if it's below the blue line, I like them for the downside, or I'm not going to get into a trade to the downside if it's not below my blue line. So I have all these different like parameters that I like to tie in together before I really make a decision. But long story short, it looks like everything is pointing like we still have some room to the downside. And I know nobody wants to hear that. I'm in the position to trust me. I want it to go up. But you also have to keep in mind that it's all part of the game. You know, it takes time to consolidate, wash out the weak hands and all of that. So it's healthy, for lack of a better word. And don't panic about it being below this blue line. That's one thing why I don't like to comment too much about the certain technical things I use is because, look, being below the blue line doesn't mean it's going to go down forever. For example, we've been below the blue line before. Well, we continue to go back up at one point. So I'm just, it's like a cyclical thing. It's how I, you know, one of the things I use to gauge the momentum. But from a short term perspective here, we're going down, it looks like. Long term, we're still in it to win it, it looks like. I'm still in it. Again, not investment advice. I'm just saying that I'm expecting it to go down, hopefully, to the 30 area. And that's where I will feel comfortable to add in. And I'll feel like I'm getting enough of a discount for lack of a better word, to get into this. So now I've covered it all from a technical perspective, long-term, short-term, kind of gave you guys the breakdown. Remember I say, I think it's easily gonna go down to 35, see what it does there, maybe chop around, then make its way lower. Again, I can be wrong, but I wanna just, before I wrap it up, I wanna talk about the options flow and all of that. In terms of today, remember, take this with a grain of salt. It's just a little bit of a, hey, how you doing here? Or, hey, how you doing there? Nothing too crazy. But what I see here is in a market that is usually bullish, that usually has people buying more calls than puts, this is pretty equal to me. And it also looks like there's a higher percentage of people selling the calls rather than people selling the puts. Now, there are also a higher percentage of people buying calls but it's nothing too crazy. And it's also not an extreme noticeable amount. Like there's double the amount of calls being traded or bought than puts and things like that. So I'm seeing a, a little bit of a neutral, nothing crazy happening to the downside either, where I say mayday, mayday, it's the end of the world, this, that, and the other. But I'm just kind of trying to like lay down the groundwork for you guys here on this. It's just kind of showing neutral consolidation, maybe a little to the downside, nothing strong to the upside, but nothing strong or dramatic to the downside either. However, there were a few things that I did note today that I want to confirm it coming tomorrow. So I'll probably do an update on this maybe Thursday or Friday and 
with that information of what I've confirmed, but I saw a few large orders that I do want to point out to you to the upside and to the downside, but mainly to the downside. So we're looking at the November, we want the 26, I'm sorry, the 26 or the 30? 30s and the 26. Okay, so it's mainly, 26 was on another one. What we're looking at here is, I'm pretty sure this was all bought right here, meaning it was all at the ask. So I mean, somebody, uh, and again, when I tell you guys this about the options order flow and all that, remember, you never know, somebody could have basically bought a bunch of shares right now thinking it's going to go up and this can be their hedge just in case it goes down. That You never know fully what they were doing. And I want to confirm it based on what it does with the open interest tomorrow to see if that transfers over to the open interest tomorrow. But... Yeah, it was the 30. We're looking at the right thing here. But it was bought on the ask, and this looks like somebody making a big bet saying that we're going down towards the 30 area by November. And also, I noticed in January, there was a lot of things coming in for the 26, the 28, and the 30 for January puts, which is all basically saying somebody thinks it's going down. Again, it could be a hedge protection on their position. They could have bought a bunch of shares, and they're just saying this just in case. Take it with a grain of salt. But my point being is there's more order, order flow to the downside than to the upside. I think the only thing that I really saw to the upside was some 37 calls for this week, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and, and that's really it. Just something maybe saying like, all right, we're not going to really do anything too dramatic this week. Again, you see what I'm saying is I'm seeing things for like longer term out on the downside. So that's why I say I see some consolidation also possibly happening here. So hopefully I didn't get too overboard with all of this stuff here. There really isn't much more that goes into it in terms of that. It's just, you know, one more thing to point out. I guess you can say that there's a lot more volume, especially volume more than open interest on the put side here than the call side, which again is all the, the order flow. But again, take it with a grain of salt. All this is just saying, I think it's going to go down a little bit more in the short term. Hopefully it provides a buying opportunity for us and then we can reassess the situation. And if we see things changing and the dynamic changing, we might go back up to the upside. And of course, I'll be there to update you guys if you guys do enjoy these videos. Um, so let me know your guys' feedback in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your night. Just have a great rest of your life, as I always say. And if you're new, please subscribe, like, and all that. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.